It's fantastic to be here at the gala. It's the night of nights for the Victorian startup ecosystem. The energy is palpable and this event brings it all together. Tonight's a great night to see how special our ecosystem is. It's indeed my great pleasure to welcome everyone to the 2019 Melbourne Entrepreneurship Gala Dinner. Tonight's gala connects leaders from the top tiers of the business, government and university sectors with the most outstanding emerging entrepreneurial talent. For young entrepreneurs in the room tonight, they're going to see people who take them seriously, you know, really engaged venture capitalists, university, industry, politicians who are listening to them and listening to them really quite intently and what stories they've got to tell and what ideas they've got to bring to the table. Some of our most innovative entrepreneurial talent will be heard from tonight uh, and I'm sure that that will be a treat for everyone. Hi everyone, I'm co-founder and CEO of Life Whisperer. We're using artificial intelligence to improve pregnancy outcomes in IVF. We have just raised our seed investment round of four and a half million dollars. We have developed an indoor navigation tool which has been optimised for people who are vision impaired. Bindi Maps is another step further towards equality. So you've just got to sit in that room tonight and scan the room to get a sense of the community that the Melbourne Entrepreneurship Gala brings together. Melbourne has a very special source and that special source is one of collaboration. People genuinely want to work together to work on a problem that's bigger than the sum of the parts. Well, I think historically universities have been great providers of talent, whether it's through graduates or whether it's through research. But I think increasingly we're saying, well, if the research can have an impact, whether it's a social impact or economic impact, shouldn't we be doing that? Research is the frontier of idea creation. That's really where breakthroughs are taking place. Now, how you then take those breakthroughs, turn that into a product or service that can benefit the community, that's the entrepreneurial challenge. Everyone that does research, they're not there to get qualifications to just look good on paper. They want to make a difference in the world. The challenge is always how to do it. So what we do is we give people the picks and shovels to turn that intellectual property into impact in the community. Ladies and gents, my name is Dr. Tia Cummins. I'm a clinical neuroscientist, ex-soldier, and the very proud founder of VR Core. We have one mission. That is to empower and save lives through the prevention, detection, and intervention of service-related post-traumatic stress disorder. This is just fantastic. In an event like this, where you've got C-suite people and more senior people above that, you know, directors and leaders of industry, where they can look through, you know, all of the issues associated with bringing a startup through commercialisation and recognise the kernel of a new idea. When you see the problems they're working on and the solutions they're developing, it's mind-blocking. Paying it forward is a really interesting idea because it's this concept that you help people because you can. It's not a quid pro quo. You don't do something and expect something back. You do it because you know the rising tide lifts all boats. We wouldn't be here if there weren't you know advisors and mentors, uh, investors, uh, even just you know friends and supporters in the early days backing us, right? So. Paying forward really means you know, supporting those who have a path to help everyone progress and move in a new direction. I think the ecosystem thrives because we're all in it together really. People are wanting to sort of hold out their hand and support you along your journey. We also celebrate the fact that Victoria's ecosystem is renowned for being diverse. And I especially acknowledge all the really cracking Indigenous business leaders that are in the room with us here tonight. It's really... What we've seen is there's this momentum that's building at an exponential rate. Tonight to me is about creativity, collaboration and commerce. What we need are the best and brightest to step forward and that's where entrepreneurship is key.